Hello everyone, um, I'm Chris Kapchis, uh, President of Chestnut Park Real Estate, and today I'm going to provide you with the uh, June uh, market report for the um, Toronto and uh, uh, Toronto greater area. Nothing uh, exceptional to report uh, if you've been following these monthly reports. Uh, um, I indicated uh, last month when I did the report that um, June is not likely to be producing any uh, exceptional numbers and of course that's exactly what happened. Um, I could uh, go through all the numbers in detail but I'm not going to because I think I'd rather talk about uh, the, uh, the kind of trend that is uh, developing now. I mean in terms of the numbers we're off like 41 percent compared to uh, to uh, last year in, in terms of sales, not unanticipated. Of course, last year we were kind of at the peak of the, the uh, COVID crisis and the real estate market was doing exceptionally well and has continued to do exceptionally well until uh, February, March of this year. And then of course in April, we saw the first uh, rate hikes and market has changed and I'll talk about that uh, in a moment. Uh, average sale price um, still up there although it has come down and again I'll speak about that in a moment. Came in at uh, $1,146,000 which is um, about 5% um, to 6% higher than what it was l last year um, at this time. Those are the kind of the big numbers that come out but um, what what is sort of a deeper um, uh, a factor in the um, in this uh, June report is actually the pattern that ha has been evolving. Uh, essentially, what we're seeing is we're seeing a downturn in the real estate market, but we're seeing it uh, much faster than we've ever seen it before. Uh, generally, there are about uh, four phases to a uh, real estate uh, downturn. Uh, you get the um, uh, buyer sentiment changes. You know, they uh, they sit back. They don't engage to the uh, to the same degree as they did. Uh, we're seeing that. Um, <clears throat> buyer traffic, of course, uh, declines, and we were seeing a dramatic amount of buyer traffic come down compared to what was happening um, only uh, four months ago. Uh, mortgage approvals, sales, as I just mentioned, and even uh, starts, they decline as well. And then, in addition to that, uh, sort of the final phase is we see prices coming down uh, as well. And we've already talked briefly about that, both sales and prices came down um, in, um, in the month of uh, June, fairly dramatically uh, in the case of sales, uh, not quite as dramatic in the case of prices, but they came down as well. But in that regard, I wanted to also mention it to what's happened in the last uh, four months, because those four factors that we normally associate with uh, changes in um, real estate markets, they normally take place over a much longer period of time. But in this case, we have seen it happen literally since April. And the reason, of course, is since April, we've seen the Bank of Canada increasing its benchmark rate on a regular basis, which in turn is having an impact on mortgage interest rates, which of course is having the impact on the mortgage market. But here's what's happened since, uh, since uh, February and March. In, in February, we hit an all-time high in terms of average sale prices for the greater Toronto area of $1,334,000. An exceptional number when you think that it included all of the, uh, the greater Toronto area as well as all condominium apartment sales. That really was an exceptional number. Since then, that number has come down. It came down in, um, in February, marginally, and it came down probably in anticipation of what the Bank of Canada was going to do. But then we, we saw it come down in, um, in um, April, we saw it come down in May, and now we've seen it come down in, um, in June. And the reason why that's happened is because in April, the bank started implementing its uh, rate hikes. Uh, the benchmark rate was exceptionally low. Uh, we are currently at 1.5%. In fact, tomorrow the bank is scheduled to uh, once again look at its uh, benchmark rate and it's anticipated probably go up by three quarters of a point, which will take us to over uh, uh, 2%, 2 2.5 to be, uh, uh, 2.25 to be exact. So 
that is really having an impact on the marketplace. So we've seen the average sale price come down from uh, a high of February to June's $1,146,000 by $187,000. That's in a four-month span. And in addition to that, uh, we've, uh, we've, we've seen sales drop dramatically over that period. So that $187,000 drop represents about a 14% decline. Uh, economists are kind of predicting that by the time this uh, market uh, turnaround uh, changes uh, and we start seeing some upward numbers again, that we could see from that high of February, 1,334,000, a, uh, a drop of uh, perhaps 20%, uh, maybe um, uh, even a little higher than that. So that's what June numbers tell us, but looking at uh, kind of the historical evolution, and not that uh, long ago, but just referring to the last four months. And as I indicated a moment ago, the bank is expected to raise rates again. That being the case, I can anticipate that next month when we do this market report, I will be reporting on uh, uh, similar market occurrences to what happened in June with sales uh, uh, going down, as certainly as compared to last year, and average sale prices continuing to drop, consistent with what I've just uh, just mentioned. Uh, I've looked at some early uh, July numbers, and they reflect exactly what I've just said. Sales are down uh, fairly dramatically, and in addition to that, uh, we're, we've seen the average sale price come down fairly dramatically. And I might add, in in conclusion, that uh, this is happening in a disparate way. We're we're seeing uh, greater declines in the 905 where we saw uh, greater increases uh, both in sales and in average sale prices. And obviously, as uh, restrictions have come off travel, restrictions have come off uh, various health uh, concerns that we ha have had, uh, people are no longer looking to ground level uh, accommodation the way they did. People are moving back into the 416, and we're seeing the uh, 905 uh, uh, take a little bit more of a hit in terms of the uh, market uh, turndown. So that's where we're at. It's not a, a pleasant report. I uh, much preferred some reports in the past when uh, the market was on fire, very robust. But it is something that we have to accept and adjust to. Uh, it won't last forever. The market forces that were in play that caused the incredible run-up during the pandemic are still in play. And in fact, they will become accentuated over the uh, uh, next year or so, uh, resulting in another run-up in the market in the not too distant future. So until, um, until uh, we do the July report, please stay safe, stay well, and we'll talk then. <laughs>